Day 7, April 6, 1909. Matthew Henson and Robert Peary reached the North Pole, the first men to ever do so. Mari Pollock, the kind one, adventurous, tenacious, teacher, historic, educated, world traveler. Matthew Henson was orphaned at age 13. From then on, he traveled the world, starting on a steamship from Baltimore. At age 21, Matthew met Naval Lieutenant Robert Peary at a hat store when his boss recommended him for a job on an expedition to Central America. Many expeditions later, Henson and Perry attempted to reach the North Pole. It took several attempts before they were successful. Upon their return home, they were treated as frauds when another explorer claimed he had reached the North Pole first. More than a year later, their claim was proven true, and Perry was given many honors and medals. Henson received nothing and was not recognized until 1944. Mariluck was the name given to him by the Inuit Eskimos. Who was the first person to reach the North Pole? You might think it was Robert Perry or Frederick Cook. However, the title could actually belong to an African-American explorer named Matthew Henson. Born in 1866, only a year after the end of the Civil War, Henson grew up in Maryland. 43 years later, some believe he became the first person to set foot on the North Pole. At just 13 years old, Matthew Henson left home and joined a ship crew as a cabin boy. He traveled the world and learned to read and write. In 1887, Henson was working as a store clerk in Washington, D.C., where he met the explorer, Robert Perry. Perry hired him as a valet, and the two men began a working relationship that lasted for over two decades and half a dozen voyages. Henson proved invaluable as an expert dog sledder, hunter, craftsman, and navigator who even became fluent in Inuit. Their team also included four Inuit guides who helped them in their mission. The explorers made several failed attempts before they finally reached the North Pole in 1909. Legend has it that Henson and two of the Inuit men arrived at the pole 45 minutes before Perry, likely making one of them the first to set foot on the North Pole. Henson later said, I think I am the first man to sit on top of the world. Perry's achievements were recognized by the National Geographic Society when he returned. He was awarded the first ever Hubbard Medal, National Geographic's highest honor. But Henson's contributions were mostly overlooked by the scientific community. Henson went on to work as an official in the U.S. Customs House in New York City and passed away in 1955. It wasn't until almost a century after Perry was given the Hubbard Medal that Henson was awarded the same honor. In 